Ranger is an iconic series that started as a radio show back in the 1930s. In the 50s, it got its own TV series, and over the years, some movies followed as well. The Lone Ranger chronicles the adventures of a masked vigilante and his Native American sidekick, Tonto. Now, a massive budget reboot's been made, which stars Army Hammer as the Ranger and Johnny Depp as Tonto. You know, as kids, as you do, you know, you play Cowboys and Indians, you know, and um, never once did I want to be the Cowboy. Never once. You know, the Lone Ranger and Tonto in this story meet the same way they did in the first episode of the TV show. There's uh, an Indian scout who's out patrolling and he comes across a bunch of dead rangers. He thinks they're all dead and starts to bury them and, you know, give them their last rites and all that. And, uh, and, then, um, and then one of them turns out to actually be alive and he kind of nurses the guy back to health because of, uh, because of the, the spirits basically show Tonto, like, this is the guy, nurse him back, like, this is going to be a warrior. To the west. It's a nice hat, by the way. They didn't have a bigger one? <laughs> In the great beyond, a vision told me a great warrior would help me on my quest. One who has been to the other side and returned. All I know is that a man killed my brother. If we ride together, we ride for justice. Justice is what I seek. And so the legendary duo teams up to defeat Butch Cavendish, the person responsible for the death of Hammer's brother. To execute their mission, they get help from a one-legged whore madam played by a certain Helena Bonham Carter. The baddie, Butch Cavendish, he, he ate my leg. And uh, I was going to be a dancer. So I had to do um, a change of career. And that's why I ended up becoming a, a, ma a, ma a madam. Um, I am uh, owner of an exotic establishment. So, um, but that's my story, really. You're looking for a man. It was in about a week ago. Paid me with this. You find the traitor, you find the man who killed your brother. The Lone Ranger has a really big legacy, so will most likely draw a huge crowd to the theaters. To make sure they won't be disappointed, studio bosses gave Pirates of the Caribbean director Gore Verbinski a budget of $250 million to make the movie as awesome as possible. You say the Lone Ranger, you know, that's a great, that's gonna bring out, you know, a tremendous amount of, of emotion from, you know, you know, my father or, you know, my friend's father or my friend's mother or friend, you know, I'm, you've got these kids who are like, I don't know, what's a Lone Ranger? You know, my, my generation is the generation that sort of felt like it was a little square, but I think you've got this kind of tremendous, you know, I see it, I see, you know, grandfathers nudging their kids in the theater and going, this, you know, this is important. It was incredible uh, what, what Gore pulled off. I mean, he had, uh, you know, Johnny running on top of the train and, and I'm, you know, shooting through the ceiling, and he's dancing away. And this is all on a, on a, you know, live vehicle driving through the mountains. And and I was just, I was just like a kid in a candy store. is out in cinemas now.